Hey, I'm Liz. Today is Fat Tuesday, uh, which I personally prefer to refer to as Punchki Day. I am Polish. I grew up in Northern Michigan and uh, Punchki were very easy to get with our Polish community there. However, um, I now live in Savannah, Georgia, uh, which has many other fantastic uh, delicacies, but Punchki is not one of them. So. I'm going to attempt today to make my own. I've never tried to do this before. I don't bake very often, so this is gonna be very interesting. Uh, my friend Molly is coming to help me in a little while as well, so um, we will see how this goes. I'm gonna warm up the milk so that I can proof the yeast in it. I don't bake very often, so I don't really have all of the tools I need to do this, so I'm improvising a lot. One of the things that I'm improvising with is that I don't have a candy thermometer because I've never made candy, um, but I have a meat thermometer because we do make meat. I know that yeast is supposedly very tricky. Um, I have definitely done it wrong trying to make bread a couple times, which is all the times I've tried to make bread. <laughs> Okay, I think we are like right in the right range right now. So next up we are gonna put in the yeast. Stir it in. Ooh, it's getting bubbly, it smells yeasty. Very stuck to the spoon. So now we're gonna actually add in tablespoon of sugar to that and a half a cup of flour. Put it all in this bowl here. Ooh, that is chunky. That's gross. I know it's gonna taste delicious, but it, something about chunky milk that just really grosses me out. <laughs> now whisk it. I don't really know why we're doing this. That's what the recipe says. I, I guess that's why we're doing it. Okay. Next we're gonna take the butter, melt it. Whoa, that's the yeast with the milk and the, holy cow. I just got this KitchenAid mixer for Christmas from my dad and I'm really excited about it. I've never used it. I've actually never used one period. So this is gonna be a very interesting uh, experiment here. The egg yolks. Rum. It's plugged in, I think it's down. You did the paddle on there. <gasps> oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Okay, apparently, the yeast <laughs> mixture uh, is working. Oh, okay. That's working. Okay, it's supposed to go until it's frothy. I'm gonna turn it up a little. Is that frothy? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Now it's getting frothy. I don't think this recipe actually wants you to use a KitchenAid mixer, but I'm really excited about it. So, I'm doing it. <sighs> Does it matter the order of operation here? Probably. I'm going to I'm going to wing it. I'm going to wing it. I'm gonna start with this paddle one. I'm gonna put this back in. Okay. I'm gonna put some of that in. Put that back down. Lock that this time. Okay, I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna put in some of this yeast. Turn that up a little. All right, more flour. So I'm gonna lock, yeah, okay. More yeast. All right, more flour. Woo. Oh, that was maybe too much. Oh, it's got it. 
Going away. Doing it. All right. I am probably ruining this to every extent, but. Okay, do I scrape it off? I don't know. Let's let's try that. It's, I got a lot more flour to go, though. Okay, put this in. Maybe that's what that bread hook thing is for. A decent amount more. I've only used like half the flour and it's real stuck, so. Okay. Ooh, it seems to be a good dough-like consistency though. Okay. See what this does. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, maybe a little head. Oh, 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 little. Okay. Is that what it's supposed to do? I don't know. I think that we're good. I have this lump of dough here. It looks a little dry, but I don't know what I'm supposed to add to it. Uh, so I think I'm gonna just call this one good and see if it rises. My little dough baby. And I'm gonna set it over here to rise. So I don't have a ton of faith in this dough that I just made. Uh, so I kind of took some liberties with the recipe and I just, I think that I probably did it wrong. So. Um, I actually have enough ingredients that I'm going to try for another round of dough as well so we can kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison. So I'm going to clean all of this up, measure everything out, and start all over again with the dough. The first batch of dough is actually rising. I didn't think it was going to because it just didn't feel right, but it actually is. We are back to uh, step one with the milk. Um, Got to get it warm enough for the yeast to proof. Ooh, Molly's here. So Molly is here with me now. What's up, friends? My assistant. Yes, I have come to save the day. Uh, and if I save the day, I might ruin the day even further. This could be second batch of ruined dough. Who knows? <laughs> no, we'll see. it's not. We'll Positivity, see. I believe in you. Yeah. She's using a meat thermometer. Um, I have a candy thermometer at my house that has never been opened, but didn't leave ask. it to friends to just not Didn't ask. ask. Also, I am of the belief that I can just make it work with whatever I have. You know, and uh, that's what's great about having a friend like Liz in your <laughs> life is she's that way with everything. But when it comes to baking, specific specificity. Yeah. I have heard baking's like a science. Exactly. Science is pretty specific. Yes. So like you need the right tools, but it's okay. We're just going to yeah, like, make it. We're going to do it. Um, so the milk is about 115 degrees. Uh, so we're going to add the yeast. Wait, now. you said 150? 15. Oh, okay. 150. Because so I was like, yeah. okay, different. Following. Different. Following. Yeah. Um, so we're going to add the yeast in. Wait, is this going to puff up again? We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Should I get a bowl ready? I don't think so. I'm not no sugar. In oh, this okay. One. That was the problem last yeah. time. So, yeah. So, oh, it smells yeasty. Yeah. I've never put yeast in milk before. Have you ever used yeast? Period. Yes. Barely. But like, yeah. I think just warm water. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's congealed. It's, yeah, I know. No. Okay. So I needed to just sit in the milk probably for a minute. Sick. Maybe it'll like dissolve. <laughs> you see, show the chunk. This is, I think. It's a chunky yeast. This is very chunky. Um, okay, I'm gonna just. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna it's just. It's gonna be great. Yeah, just okay. get right in there. I'm gonna, I'm doing it, guys. Oh, God, it's like a paste. Yeah, that was a bad idea. All right, I'm gonna just let it sit. I don't know what, what to do about this. You just leave it. We'll let it sit. I'm gonna just leave it. Okay, while we're doing that. We're gonna cream the sugar and the butter. Okay. So we have run out of milk uh, because the yeast clumped up and did not, uh, didn't proof. So we are running to the store. Uh, Molly, uh, both assistant and chauffeur, 
uh, is yes, driving us there. Probably. So um, we will be back home shortly. All right, round three of the milk. Um, it's warm this time. This time we're gonna put the yeast, just sprinkle it on top and not mix it. And it is supposed to bubble, you said. Yeah. I think we're just, that's a lot of, oh, you said it was very easy. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't okay. just leave it. Just, I'm not just gonna, set it. I'm just gonna set it down. I'm sure she is really happy to have a nagger here. <laughs> to help her. Well, I can't really seem to do this correctly on my own, so it might be better. <laughs> I'll try. Um, so there's a lot sitting I, on the top. You know, just give it a second, because look at, oh, maybe not. I'm just looking through the outside. I'm like, oh, it's bubbling, but it's, Give it a second. Yep. Like, let it just melt. We'll just, because we'll it just, may sink down. Yeah. Do you think I should put the dry ingredients in first or the wet? Because this is what I debated the last time, and I really wasn't sure. Um, How familiar I'm going, are Well, I want to say I'm really familiar, but now that you ask me that question, I'm like, um, I believe it's wet ingredients, and you spoon in dry ingredients. I think that makes the most sense. That, okay. Yes. All right, so we're going to put the butter in. Yep. Yeah, just turn it on like low and just slowly. Okay. Slowly sugar it. You definitely melted the butter? Like it said melt the butter? Because I've heard creaming it together when it's like softened. Yeah, it was just supposed to be softened. Okay. It was not supposed to be like this. She's really good at that. I am <laughs> really <laughs> am very good at baking, so clearly. Wait, are you realizing it wasn't supposed to be melted like now that I just said that? No, 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 I knew. That's oh, why I had knew. it setting out. That's why I was oh. waiting. Yeah. No, I knew that it, I wasn't paying attention when I put it in the microwave, so. But this will be fine. I think it'll be fine, too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize, like, you weren't, no. I thought you were going for melted but not scalding and thinking <laughs> when you're like, oh, let's just put it together, I'm like. <laughs> No, just soft. That's way past softening. Yeah, I know. I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so um, now we're gonna beat in the eggs. Uh, the it's three yolks and one full egg. Yeah. Okay. Let, let oh, that one okay, go. Okay. There you go. Okay. 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 Next. All right. Okay. Perfect. Three and four. Now we need to add in the salt. Okay, this is my other idea. What about if we dump it into a bowl? Like dump the whole thing into another bowl where the, the force of that will stir it enough. Yeah. Is it still warm? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. You know, I think you just go for it. It does need to bubble though, because I know if it doesn't bubble, it's not gonna. Did it bubble last time? Yeah, but I had also added all of that sugar and flour into it. Oh yeah, yeah, you said that. Which is yeah. a a yeast. It's a it's it's food. Yeah. Maybe I need to just add like a pinch of like sugar. Like a pinch. Because we're really good at this. We're so good at this. Maybe I should have read the instructions before we started, but that's fine. Next. Oh, there we go. Okay, then. Uh, but I gotta get the that in there approved okay. before we can do that. So I don't know. Maybe we need to like do some research. Oh, oh. Okay. No. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's bubbling. It is. Yeah. Are y'all looking at this? Can't soften the butter, but we can figure out the. Yeah. Use. You know, <laughs> third time's a charm, right? So we're gonna alternate between the flour and the yeast mixture. Here, I guess I can like. Do you wanna do the flour? Yeah, yeah. And I'll do the yeast. How are you gonna pour that in there? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put it back into the one put that we had it in. Yeah. So I've got a spout. I think we need to pour. Yeah, okay. Right now. I don't want you to like. No, you're right. Over you're right. It. I'm, I'm overthinking it as well, so. Oh, we're making dough. This is already looking better than the other dough did at this point, so I feel good about that. Go for it. Is this just 
flour? Yeah. You're supposed to beat this in first and then it thinks. Oh. It did this earlier too. <laughs> we'll let that beat for just a second and then I'm gonna switch to the hook attachment. Nice dough. Doughy. Dough, yeah. <laughs> It's maybe a little bit too soft. It's not balling up, so we're gonna add a little bit more flour. I mean, to be fair, a lot of it did go outside of the... It did, we did lose a bunch, yeah. Oh, look at that, okay. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit more flour, maybe? I, like, yeah, just a, a touch. Here we go. Okay. See, this is what I imagine. Okay. I don't know physics, but what happens? <laughs> I don't know physics either, so. <laughs> like, imagine the dough in the center near the hook. Is yeah. that being like rotated on the outside, or is whatever's in the center like stuck? Like, should we scrape it off the dough hook for a second and then let it recapture? Oh, is what I'm questioning. So I think the next, yeah, because we're not gonna. The other recipe because it's definitely been over five minutes. Yeah. So I imagine you don't want to like overhook it. Yeah. The other recipe you had to knead it afterward, but this one you don't. I think that's yeah. where the five okay. minutes of uh, beating comes in. But I'm just curious what the inside looks like. Oh, not bad. Like it, I guess it's like yeah. maybe the hook. Oh, I think it was like I think the physics mixing. is accurate. <laughs> I feel good about these physics. <laughs> Check out the <laughs> physics of these donuts. <laughs> okay, so now we just put it in a grease bowl. Like that's it. So is this a bowl, or do you need a bigger I think bowl? We need a big one. My mom's gonna watch this video and be like, "I didn't teach her anything," I or a lot she's of gonna people... say. I taught her all of this and she doesn't remember any yeah. of it. No, I think a lot of people are going to be like, how dare they be allowed in the kitchen? <laughs> We're disrupting and disgracing. Yeah, literally. No, we, we are. Yeah. Ooh, it's so nice. This looks smoother than the last one. Yeah, it's way smoother. Okay, now what? Wrap this up and we're going to let it rise. Okay. There we go. We have, this is recipe number one. It has grown some, not as much as it should have so far. And we've got recipe number two. And that one we'll check back in on in like an hour. Okay, here we are. So we've got first batch of dough. The brain has risen. The brain has risen as far as it's gonna rise, we think. So here we go. So we're gonna, Actually, I think I need to punch it down in here first. Oh yeah, that does not feel right. <laughs> We're supposed to take it and divide it in two. Okay. We're ready. We're I'm ready. We're in aprons. We are in aprons. We've got our dough. We've got our flour, our spatulas. So we are rolling it out to a quarter of an inch thick. Half an inch. Half an inch thick. Yep. And then three inches diameter around yes. for conference. Again, we don't do science. We have measuring. These aren't measuring. Yes. So Thanks. we're flowering the surface. I'm a super good assistant right here, as you can tell. <laughs> I don't know if this parchment paper is going to work for this to roll this out. Well, just don't do it on the lip. Like, but it's going it to get one. big. Is it gonna get that big? Yeah. I mean, a half inch. Wow. Okay. We're really good at um, rolling. Well, thank you. Okay, well, Molly's doing that. I'm gonna cut some. So we're gonna set these off to the side 
and let them rise a little bit more. And then we're gonna stuff them, fill them, whatever. And then we're gonna fry them. Do you guys see these? Look at, look great round. It's gonna be delicious. Maybe. <laughs> 16, okay, so the, it was supposed to make 18. We're gonna start heating up the oil. Oh, but the cord doesn't reach. Okay, let's scoot the table this way. Cool. Too much ponchy dough on the side. <laughs> Not strong enough. So we're using peanut oil, because I think that's a good oil to use. Yeah. And we're gonna heat it up to 350 degrees. Okay. I've never done this before, so. Me either, but oh. I've eaten plenty, so. Eaten plenty. This is where I have absolutely no instruction. I could not find a video of anybody doing this. Oh, really? Yeah. So I have no idea um, how this is gonna go. Okay. So <clears throat> we have, but the concept is the same. Yes, in theory, right? I mean, okay. So we have lemon curd, strawberry, both purchased. And then this is homemade plum jam, uh, which is prune with orange nice. zest. I made it last night. That's the traditional filling. Okay. If you're gonna- So at least half of those have to be traditional. Yeah. So- Just like a little splotch. Yeah. Just a splotch. Oh, I put some there for you, but- Oh, thank you. And then we just like pinch the corners. I'm pinching. Oh, it's not sticking at all. It doesn't stick at all. I don't what know. if we like fold it over? No, that's not What about if we do- this seems really thick. I guess it's a donut. I think maybe so. I put too much filling in here. Well, yeah, you need to like. I think I put a little bit. She's you... balling up the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> Ball it up? I don't think so. I don't know. The prune's gonna be all fried. Like I a dumpling. Like I'm just like massacring this. <laughs> well, you folded yours in half, so. <laughs> <laughs> no. It said something about it, but I just don't remember what. Not and like, I don't know where I read it, so <laughs> at least you can kind of seal it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think the water's helping. These are gonna be some really flat punch be. What are you talking about? They're gonna be like really thick. But they're supposed to be like balls. And they didn't oh, really? Yeah, they didn't rise. Yeah, they they're like well, here's the key part is I've never had a punch be before, <laughs> so I don't know what it's supposed to be like. Right. So it's supposed to be a ball. Yes. Like okay. a, it's like, they're normally like tennis ball size. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of big. Yeah. Okay. So this is our, um, our, you know, trial, well, post trial one. <laughs> this is our pre trial one. <laughs> um, so we're getting better. These have really fluffed up. Yeah, they have. Like, like way more I than I was see expecting. It. Yeah. yeah. Let's, we're gonna rearrange. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make a note. We tried moving the table and oil spilled out everywhere. Whoa. What? It happens. It happens. You like that peanut oil? We're almost there. Time to regroup. What just happened? So we're moved back over here mm -hmm. into the kitchen. Um, the Dining room is a bit oily right now, but uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. So We're fine. We are now um, going to attempt to uh, fry the first batch. I don't have a thermometer. <laughs> but it's very hot. It's hot. It should be 350 degrees. Um, I'm going to start with our first. Uh... <laughs> Show up close. These are the, uh, these are the testers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Let's see. Stand back. Okay. Okay. Well, it's, okay. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. Okay. So it's supposed to be like a minute and a half each side. Okay. So we're going to put a few Set in. timer for 90 seconds. Okay. Okay. One minute. Fry it, baby, fry it. Yeah, okay, these are cooking. 
They're supposed to get kind of a, a darker brown, so okay. we'll be able to tell. That one I can see the bottom is yeah. already getting, getting there. there, which is awesome. Well, when the timer goes off. Yep. These may not be perfect, but I'm proud of us. I think they're going to be delicious. Yeah. Timer done. Okay. 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 Not a second or two. Yeah, they need a little bit, a little bit more. Good. That's fine. Okay. There we go. Getting there. Okay. That's, yeah. Wow. Is it neat? They do need to be a little bit darker, but I'm going to start it's it on the other side. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll do one more flip. What a day. They, they feel donut -y. Like, they feel I'm so like a baked excited. good. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> when, like, something actually is, like, yeah. paying off. Yeah. Yeah. This guy is the silliest of all of them. That is mine. Um, yes. And I love it, so. Wow. <laughs> Y'all, look at these. Oh, that one's pretty. Don't touch it, it's hot. <laughs> like it should solid. be like crispy on the outside, but like soft in the middle. So, so that's and the key the... is like we do need them to be cooked in the middle. Right, that is the goal. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we we probably spilled like a cup of oil. Feels like a lot more. It, it does. does. <laughs> yeah. But I think that. Yeah. Which is still a lot of oil. Here's the thing. It was the second wave that really got it. The first wave is it whatever was bad, and then it like came back. <laughs> Why we don't go in the ocean. This was friends. that's right. Tidal waves. Yeah, right? tidal waves. <laughs> my worst fear in life. Tidal waves. Um, here's She's my question. Not kidding, <laughs> I'm really not kidding. This is. These um, are our first two that we made. And look at this. This is our second batch of look dough that. that is Way rising better. beautifully. It's gonna be pretty dope. Yeah. Take some of these to my pretty my, dough. My crew tomorrow. Pretty dough. Uh, maybe. Get it? Dough. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. <laughs> I'll say it again for one more time for yeah. the people in the back. It's pretty it. dope. Yeah. Round wow. one. Wow. Round Done. one. Beautiful. So we've got the second round of dough here. And ooh. It's crackling. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna punch it down. Round two, here we go. Okay, so we had punched it down, it rose again. One for Molly. Molly. One for Liz. Okay. I gotta thank you. This is so much easier not on parchment paper. <laughs> okay. How Polish are you? On a scale? Um, One to ten. Like 50%? Oh, that's a lot of Polish. This is batch two. Oh yeah, these are gonna be some fat ones. <laughs> so do you, like, what do you think we did right about this one? I think I made the dough right. I think I really messed up the yeast on that first batch. And that's what, that's what did it. Oh, this guy flipped itself. <laughs> wow. Weird. Oh, that one just flipped itself, too. That's crazy. Well, y'all, when you have perfectly made punch key, perfectly made punch key, <laughs> <made themselves. laughs> I literally, yeah, I'm going to have to hold it down because this side's not going to cook. Yeah. Look at this teamwork. Talent. One that I got. It's a dream team. Ooh, beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Sure hope these are good. Because if they're not, I got a lot of punch here. <laughs> We're done. Look at this beautiful rack here. It's a beautiful rack. <laughs> you said it. It's true. It yeah. is a beautiful rack, okay? <laughs> so we're going to do a taste test now. We're going to start with the first batch. Here we go. Can we just, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. 
I'm sick. Is that what I'm supposed to do? We both got prunes, huh? Mm hmm It's, um... <laughs> okay. It's good. It's dense. It's very dense. I can Where taste... Where is salt coming from? Is it salty? There's a little, there's a little salt in it, but not much. Does it taste salty to you? It tastes yeasty. Maybe it's the prune. <laughs> maybe there's no salt in the prune. <laughs> but maybe. Sour? Is it sour? Mm -mm. Are we tasting something totally different? Mine tastes sour. Maybe this is strawberries. This is strawberries. I have strawberry. Yeah. Okay. Let's find out right. So. <clears throat> Number two, we realized along the way that this was the dough that you were supposed to fill, that the recipe was for dough that you would fill after it was cooked. So these got real puffy and a lot of them separated when they were frying. So they're basically balls. Yeah. Little, okay. little hamburgers. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh, oh, super fluffy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, look at that. These are good. Those are good too, but these are better. Okay. Well, you did it. I think this is a success. So you say number two. Mm-hmm. Success. Mm, I think I've got powdered sugar all over my face That's at this fine. point. Thank you for joining us on this fantastic adventure today. Look for more videos from me and Molly, where we try to cook other foods. Mm -hmm. Probably not well. Not well. Um, and we will eat them though. Yes. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. All so, right. Till next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.